Um, besides China, I think one of, the, one of the threats that's also surfaced of late is ISIS. Um, how do you, what do you propose we should do in terms of legislation and what is your plan of action? Again, uh, it's not a question of, at this point, it's not a question of legislation, but it's a question of good counterintelligence. Uh, ferreting out uh, terrorists is an, intelligent, is an intelligence man's game. It's a question of detecting, deterring, and defeating the threat. Uh, during my time, we spent a lot, uh, uh, General Pagdilao and General Valeroso know that, we spent our time looking for these guys and we devoted a lot of our resources to our intelligence community. Only when we detect them can we deter them. And in deterring them, we hope to defeat them in the process. Um, ISIS is a global problem um, because what they're after is a global caliphate. And so they're trying to consolidate the Muslim Ummah worldwide. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to win because the, the Muslim Ummah in general is, is, is one that is peaceful. Uh, they, they shun. To them, war and terrorist acts are uh, un-Islamic. So they're not going to win that way. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to subjugate nations and societies through fear. And that's, and that's why they're committing crimes against humanity. So intelligence is very, very important. Counterintelligence to find out who within the government is in cahoots with them, especially at the local level. We have to take them offline to protect society.